I've asked a handful of people over the past few days, making sure not to load the question, i.e. not asking, do you remember the cornucopia on the Fruit of the Loom logo, but instead asking them to describe it to me without looking it up. Every single person described the fruit in either a cornucopia or a quote-unquote basket thing. I feel there isn't a plausible explanation for this Mandela effect. People say it's because you associate Apollo fruit with a cornucopia. However, being from the UK, I would not have made this association. Hey, Ariel here for the Book of Alice channel, with a deep dive on the fruit of the Loom Mandela effect and all of the evidence found for it. This one's going to be pretty shocking to some, so consider sticking around. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. I found that getting some exercise doesn't hurt, and it's actually been improving my mornings. Cheers to that. But you know, everyone has a different circumstance, so feel more than free to vent about it in the comments. Anyways, this video touches on the fruit of the Loom logo, and the missing cornucopia mostly everyone remembers. Through my years of following the Mandela Effect phenomenon, I found that most Mandela Effects are controversial as some find a reasonable explanation and settle the case with just that. But there is a single instance where this doesn't happen often, and that is where the fruit of the Loom logo comes in, as the majority agree that they remember a cornucopia sitting in the company logo. Today we go over the evidence provided to us by our friends on Reddit, Twitter, and put simply all across the internet. The Simple Explanation Theory This one puts forth the idea that the simplest answer is the right one, and that people are misremembering the logo with some other pop culture staple. Though this isn't quite the case for some, as the similar logo designs that some say they are mistaking them for are not as popular on the international level as some might think. And yes, they are popular outside of America, though there is no popular or competing brand that people are simply mistaking this for. Not to justify the phenomenon at least, unless you're an avid MAGA supporter, this isn't the case, like this Reddit user puts it. The fruit of the Loom logo is literally how I learned what a cornucopia is. It may not be on the underwear, but at some points there was absolutely packaging or something with a cornucopia on it. I didn't see another cornucopia until the Hunger Games movie, and I remembered what it was because of the Fruit of the Loom logo. Ant Bully In the 2006 animated film Ant Bully, which is a blast of nostalgia for me, I don't know if anyone else remembers this film, there's a scene in which an underwear is shown, and on the tag is a reference to the Fruit of the Loom logo, containing what? Yeah, a cornucopia. While finding this, I found a notable comment that seems to be consistent across the internet. People remember referring to the cornucopia as a quote-unquote loom due to the brand's name. Like this Reddit user puts it. This one bugs me to no end. I feel like we've all got the same memory of learning what a cornucopia was from the logo, or were corrected when we mistakenly called it a loom. I do not remember a cornucopia on the tag but I do remember a commercial with fruit falling out of a cornucopia. Newspaper findings Some have found quote-unquote residual evidence for this Mandela effect on old newspaper articles which at all mention the fruit of the Loom logo. One creepy finding is titled, Well, it's corny and copious, stating, A fourth grade teacher in Brainerd, Minnesota, recently drew a horn of plenty on the blackboard and asked the class if anyone knew the correct name for it. One child raised his hand and answered, I know, it's a fruit of the loom. This newspaper article from the 90s reads, Brands were chosen for slogan value, fruit of the loom, which offers a cornucopia label that echoes Reedley's fruit basket. South Park in 2012, South Park released the episode titled, I Should Have Never Gone Ziplining, where they show Eric Cartman's underwear, and on the tag there's a Fruit of the Loom logo parody, which contains, you guessed it, a cornucopia. The knockoff explanation. Some believe that the reason for this misconception is because the logos containing the cornucopias did in fact exist, but they were knockoffs with subtle logo changes. No, this doesn't serve as a reasonable explanation due to the fact that Fruit of the Loom is already relatively affordable. It's not Nike or Adidas. The profit margin wouldn't be much. I mean, they sell them at Walmart. Even then, nobody has come up with a picture showing off the legitimate tag that displays a cornucopia and the logo. At least none that are 100% reliable. Frank West's Damning Evidence In 1973, Frank West released an album, the cover parodying the Fruit of the Loom logo, titled Flute of the Loom. Now, someone was able to track down the person who created his album cover and found that they are Mandela Effect believer. 
The Reddit post discovering this states, One piece of residue you may be aware of is the Flute of the Loom album by Frank West. I learned that the artist behind the album cover was a man named the Ellis Chapel. He still has a studio website, so I decided to fill out the website form and see what he had to say. Here is what I sent him. Hi, are you the person who painted the album artwork for Flute of the Loom? Would it be alright if we asked you a couple of questions about your inspiration for the design? Thank you. Name redacted. I received a reply the next day from Reed Chapel, Ellis's son. Hi, redacted. This is Reed, Ellis's son, responding for my dad here. I remember the cornucopia specifically, as does my dad. This is the second time we've been contacted about this album cover, and Ellis and I are more than happy to answer any questions you have about it. I was a little kid when Ellis painted the Flute of the Loom cover, and I remember specifically this album being a reference to the cornucopia and Fruit of the Loom's original logo, which is where my dad says he specifically got the inspiration for the design. When I talked to him about it, he said, why the hell else would I have used a cornucopia? The food coming out of the flute is soul food, actually. A ham hock, cabbage, black eyed peas, etc. I remember when, in my mind, Fruit of the Loom quit using a cornucopia on their logo and switched to just using fruit by itself. It impressed me because I thought the logo looked better with a cornucopia in it. In my memories, this was roughly around 1978 when I was in second grade. So anyways, feel free to ask away. Reading this, it seems that they had no idea that the logo never contained a cornucopia in the entirety of the company's existence. Just like a lot of other people, they believed that it did in fact exist, but was simply changed by the company. Here are Q&A responses from the artist himself. Do you know for certain that there was a cornucopia? There had to be, I would have no reason to paint the image that way if there had not been a cornucopia. The flute takes the place of the cornucopia, but it would not make any sense at all if there had not been a cornucopia to begin with. It's a take off the label, so it has a resemble the label substantially, otherwise it would make no sense. Did you draw slash paint this album cover from memory, or did you have a photo, print, or clothing item you used as reference? I think I had a t-shirt with the Fruit of the Loom label that I looked at for reference. I used to have, in fact, I still have a lot of them, file folders with images such as a folder for musical instruments or a folder for trucks or automobiles. But this piece was primarily made from my imagination other than looking at the Fruit of the Loom label. The Leaf Theory Many suggest that the brown leaf in one of the variations of the logo could have been mistaken as a cornucopia, leading to this massive misconception. Though the leaves and positions therein do not resemble a cornucopia, at least not to the majority of believers. I'd also like to point out the argument that states the only reason we remember a cornucopia is because we associate them with a bundle of fruit due to the Thanksgiving holiday. Though wouldn't this mean that we would associate other logos that contain fruits with cornucopias? And what about the people who remember the cornucopia that don't live in the United States of America? What are they confusing it with, and why don't they confuse it with another item, like for instance a brown barrel, a fruit basket, a bowl, or simply a brown bag? Why is it always remembered as a cornucopia? What do you guys think about this? Man, I swear I remember a Fruit of the Loom commercial from when I was younger where dudes were all dressed up as the fruits and they literally stood in front of one of these with a white background all around them. I for sure recall this commercial. I was grapes for Halloween once. Do any of you guys recall this commercial? Is this lost media or a Mandela effect? This last piece of quote unquote evidence comes in the form of a trademark filed by the Fruit of the Loom company. If you take a look at the details, it lists the logo as having a cornucopia alongside the fruits, though the official art above has no cornucopia in sight. Though if we take a closer look, it does say that the trademark was then cancelled. Or did the Mandela effect erase the original logo from our history? Funny enough, Fruit of the Loom changed their logo to include a cornucopia on April Fool's Day 2022, updating their website to show their recreation, though most say that they didn't recreate the logo well. Something to note is that the cornucopia found in the popular image used the most to depict the Mandela effect was simply taken from a stock image website. With little effort, someone was able to perfectly recreate the logo everyone remembers. The human brain, though strong and perseverant, it is still malleable. 
I'm not here to lie, human memory is unreliable, but these entries do push hard to persuade me to think that maybe there is a reality where cornucopias existed on the tags of the Fruit of the Loom undergarments. Thanks for watching the video, also check out Vapor95.com for some cool apparel like this. I'm really enjoying this sweater they sent me. Either way, I'll catch you on the next video. Later.